welcome to the Broken News, PBS K36BW, with your co-anchors. Justin Harris. And Cody Best. And Weather with Conrad Jenkins. This is your broken news. So I gotta go do some grocery shopping after this. Oh, fine. Not excited. No. Yeah, clipping some coupons. Huh? I do not clip coupons. It's not in my set of values. Hmm. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 54th episode of The Broken News. I'm Justin Harris. And I'm Cody Best, and it's a beautiful day in Sanders County, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I guess. I guess it is. What's wrong? You kind of seemed a little bummed. Well, you know, with this economy and all that. The economy? What, do you blame everything on the economy? Well, yeah, don't you? I mean, you used to blame it on the rain, but it wasn't a great excuse. Anyway, uh... What were you saying about uh, shopping? Oh, earlier? well, yeah, I was, I was just musing on how it's not as fun to go grocery shopping when you're trying to uh, consciously save some money. I agree. Is, is that all you had to say about that? No, no. That you're trying to segue no. to a story? No, actually, I found a solution. Really? Yes. It's the first installment of our new series, Better Know a Business. Watch this. In this down economy, I sought cover from the firestorm of rising food prices to get more bang for my grocery shopping buck. Armed only with a mind for saving, I found solace along Highway 200 east of town at the grocery surplus store. Once inside, my worries about spending too much on name brand items melted away. I found all of the brands I love to shop for and many that are not available in this area, neatly arranged and priced better than I could have hoped for. There are four grocery surplus stores like this in the Northwest that aim toward the smarter shoppers in the market, as these stores are smart shoppers themselves. For seven years, the grocery surplus store has been serving Thompson Falls with their brand of savings, operating under the idea that as long as they're getting a good deal from their distributors, you are too. You see, large corporate chains tend to be wasteful, and when a forklift in their warehouses accidentally backs into a pallet of cereal, Rather than go through to pick out the damaged goods, they send the whole pallet off to what is called the secondary market. The secondary market is where stores like our very own grocery surplus draw their merchandise from for dimes on the dollar. Because there is always a deal available for surplus grocery stores, they don't change their prices to follow competitors' trends. The prices simply stay predictably low to draw more customers and move more product. Moving product is the name of the game, since although Americans by and large eat too much, a bigger problem is the amount of good food we throw away. Keeping waste down, making merchandise affordable, and having things like customer appreciation days and great new things on the shelves every week, this grocery shopping experience is an A-plus in my book, and my checkbook. Locally owned, operated, and employed, owner Marty Weaver wants to make sure you are aware of the great savings and products within his store. I mean, really. If you want Greek olives, chances are a grocery surplus has them. From Greece. From toys and party favors to pet food and hair products, frozen goods and healthy snacks to candy and dishwashing soap. I can throw a kid's birthday party with one stop. And being the hot sauce fan that I am, I can choose from a variety of hard-to-get flavors without driving a hundred miles. Stop into the grocery surplus next time you're shopping. You'll see what I mean. Mm, was that a commercial or a news report? Well, a little bit of both, I guess. I mean, why, do you need a commercial made? We do those, you know. Yeah, I, I, I know we make commercials. I, I, was, I was just... Uh, just what? Nothing, I guess. Good job finding solace from the firestorm of rising food prices, Justin. Thanks. Well, it's been rumored lately that a group of business owners and volunteers have been formulating a plan of action to invite more tourists to travel along Montana Highway 200 from Dixon to Heron. Ooh. Or Heron to Dixon. Heron to Dixon, either way. Yeah. Well, wow, that's a good idea. Yes, and now they are ready to move from coffee talk to real action. Coffee will do that to you. Yes, it will. 
on Wednesday, March 24th, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Lakeside Motel Conference Room, Katrina Wright, co-owner of the Falls Motel and manager of the Thompson Falls Market, will present the idea behind launching the Montana Highway 200 Tourism Association, or more briefly, Tour 200. Well, I've heard that, she said, this area of Montana suffers from a lack of awareness. Most visitors who are planning a trip to Glacier National Park go there and back on Highway 93 or Highway 2 and never realize that there's such a scenic backway that would enhance their Montana experience. And Tour 200? What a catchy name. I agree. Yeah. The group wants to create an association where all businesses that are part of the tourism industry can join and whose membership dues go directly toward marketing Tour 200 on a larger scale. The association will not only focus on paid advertising, but will work to land free press via press releases and by inviting writers to visit the area. Recently, Thompson Falls has been featured in the spring issue of Montana Quarterly Magazine. That was a great article. Yes, yes it was. Another element of Tour 200 will be to develop events that bring business from out of the area. They also want to support local events already being produced and to invite other organizations to host their events in our towns. Although invitations to the mixer went out more than a week ago, the organizers know they have unintentionally missed some people and hope that if a tourism-related business did not receive an invitation, they'll still attend. The Tour 200 Mixer and informational meeting is open to business owners, managers, and community supporters who care about increasing tourism, want to learn more about the association, and who want to find out how to be involved. The Tour 200 Mixer will again be held on Wednesday, March 24th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Lakeside Motel Conference Room. For more information or to RSVP, contact Katrina Wright at 827-3559 or go to manager at thompsonfallslodging.com. Wow, what a great idea. I really look forward to seeing the effects of this effort. Moving on. There was a fundraiser for the Thompson River Animal Care Shelter, also known as Tracks, in Trout Creek at the Lakeside Hotel last Saturday. Attendees were treated to a hilarious performance of the second annual Pretty Darn Good Variety Show. Truly a clever way to deliver some great entertainment by some very talented local performers. I agree. Raffles and auctions were doing their part to assist Tracks in their cause, and the Trout Creek Television Network was doing theirs. Watch as a couple sits down to watch Trout Creek's television network as you watch Trout Creek Television Network's television debut. Action. Action. 